If you've recently upgraded to iOS or iPad OS 16 or Mac Ventura across your Apple devices, there are a couple of new features in the Mail app that you might find useful. First up is recalling a message with undo send. If you've made an error in your email or sent it by mistake, you can recall it on your iPhone by going back into your inbox and hitting undo send at the bottom of the window. On iPad and Mac, the option is located at the bottom of the sidebar, or on Mac, you can also press Command Z or Command Z to undo send. By default, you have 10 seconds to undo send, but you can increase this to 30 seconds by opening up the settings app, scrolling down to mail, and choosing undo send delay. On Mac, you'll find the option by clicking on settings from the menu and choosing compose. Next up is scheduling an email. If you don't want to send your email immediately, you can now long press on the send button to send it later. Apple offers a few different time options, or you can set your own custom time by clicking send later. Having chosen your time, hit done. Your email will now be held in a new folder called send later, and you can adjust the time by clicking edit. Apple always applies the current time, so by clicking done, it will cancel the scheduled time and send your email immediately. Otherwise, you can update the time manually. On Mac, the scheduled send options are found by clicking the little drop down arrow next to the send button, but the options are exactly the same as you find on iPad and iPhone. If you don't have time to respond to an email immediately, swiping right has always provided the option to mark it as unread, which I frequently use to remind myself that I do still need to respond to the email. Well, now Apple has gone one step further by adding an additional option called Remind Me, which, like with Scheduled Send, now allows you to set a time to remind yourself about an email. Again, you can choose one of Apple's suggested times or set your own. Setting a time creates an additional Remind Me folder in the sidebar, and when the time you set comes around, your email will jump to the top of your inbox and you'll receive a notification. To activate this option on Mac, you can right click on the email and choose Remind Me from the context menu. The Mail app now will automatically recognize if you've asked for a response in an email and it will alert you if you've not received one. You can see how this looks when I open up an urgent email I sent to my boss asking him to contact me. By clicking on follow up, you can send a further follow up email. By default, you'll receive an alert if you've not received a response within three days and your email will move to the top of your inbox as a reminder. If you think this might be a little bit unnecessary, you can always disable the feature in settings under mail just here. Interestingly, sending a similar urgent email on my Mac didn't give me the option to follow up, although there is an option to right click and select ignore follow up. So I guess that if I wait, it will notify me in three days time. Search in emails has now also been improved with Apple recognizing if you've made a typo in your search term, such as here where I type Wilton instead of Wilson. And search is now more likely to return more accurate results based on a broader search criteria. The Mail app will now automatically notify you if you've referenced an attachment in your email but forgot to actually attach it, which is a godsend for me as someone who does this all the time. And it will also notify you if you mention one of your contacts in an email but forget to add them as a recipient. And it's good to see that Apple are finally introducing these type of features that have been available in other email apps such as Gmail for some time. Another nice little update are rich URLs. You can add a URL link in an email and Apple will now display an image of the link rather than just the URL in text. Again, this has been available in the Messages app for some time, so it makes sense that Apple would introduce it to the Mail app as well. And finally, if you tend to use your Mail app for both work and personal emails and find you're being distracted during work hours or vice versa, you can now filter out a mailbox using focus mode. Open settings, scroll down to focus, and choose a filter template from the list, or create a new one by clicking on the plus icon in the top right corner of the app. Since it's work related, I'll go with the work focus. Scroll down to add filter, choose mail, and here you can choose which mailbox to continue seeing when the focus is active. 
To me, this is slightly counterintuitive. I would have thought you select the mailbox you don't want to see, but it's actually the one that you do want to see. Having selected the mailbox, if you come out of settings, go back into the mail app and enable the work focus from control panel, you can see it has applied the filter to my Gmail account and all I can see are my work emails. I can toggle the filter on and off at any time by simply clicking here. So those are some of the new features in the Mail app introduced in iOS and iPad OS 16 and Mac Ventura. If you're wondering what the timer was in the top right corner of the video, well on this channel I aim to get straight to the point, creating shorter videos that give you just the facts without any extra fluff. If that's something you appreciate then please do give me a like and subscribe for lots more quick tutorials on all your favourite apps and devices. If you have a question or a recommendation for a video, I would love to hear from you, so drop it in the comments section below. And you might also be interested in learning how to get the most out of the workout app on your Apple Watch, or how pass keys are set to replace all of our passwords. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.